You know, I didn't think they'd do it. I'm gonna be honest, I did not think they would do it. What am I referring to? Well, if the title didn't give it away, and if you haven't heard already somehow, Sony is giving PC Ratchet and Clank, not only just Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. We are getting that hot, hot Sony exclusive right on the PC. Oh man, I never thought I'd see the day. That game was gonna be one of the reasons why I got a PS5. I think I can hold off until Spider-Man 2 for now. Uh, I think I'm pretty content for uh, for waiting until it comes out on PC, just so I can crank through the graphics settings a little higher than I can on a PS5. The boundaries between the universes are coming undone. Oh, that's the boy you hope, you hope. Our time has finally come. It Wow, another Lombax. Wait, I have to find my friend. Where are you, Clank? You okay, Bolts? You! <laughs> but yeah, Sony is giving PC Ratchet and Clank Rift apart. It is coming in July 26th, and it's only $60 USD. I'm not sure about Canadian or Aussie dollars. Sorry about that, guys. I'm from the United States. But yeah, it's gonna only be $60, I'm not even stretching for that $70 price point, which I found kind of surprising. I, I figured they'd at least try for it, but they didn't. Yep, we are getting Ratchet and Clank on the PC. Now I can imagine that you're probably gonna need an SSD to uh, properly play the game as Sony imagined, but I think it can work on a normal hard drive, I'm not sure. If, most people have SSDs nowadays, but if you're still rocking a hard drive, I think you have some hope there, you know? I think you'll be alright. So, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart was one of the PS5's big hits. It was one of the ones that everyone loved. It was it was good all around. Graphics look amazing. A return of a beloved franchise that we haven't seen in a long time, you know? They kind of skipped over that PS4 generation. Besides that, you know, the reboot of the first game, but that was kind of a hit and miss for a lot of us Ratchet and Clank fans, at least for me. Some people loved it, some people hate it. But I think Rift Apart, it's safe to say, the general consensus, fantastic Ratchet and Clank game. If you never played Ratchet and Clank, it is just a fantastic shoot 'em up, man. You just run around, blasting enemies, upgrading weapons, wild weapons at that. Some of the weapons in Ratchet and Clank are absolutely crazy. I haven't played Rift Apart yet, so I don't know what they have. I've seen some gameplay. I've seen the special weapon, you know, Insomniac always adds that one weapon, like the pixel gun or something like that, in the game. But yeah, the new one has that as well, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, you go around, you smack enemies, you go through some very well-designed levels, you upgrade cool-ass looking weapons, you do some quirky missions, and you listen to some goofy-ass story that ends up cracking a smile on your face one way or another, because the story, you know, not the most captivating thing in the world they're fun though and they're awesome to watch and play and uh i'm very excited to see how ripped apart turns out i personally like i said have not played it i've seen some tidbits but you know the whole introduction of the new uh, character what's rivet i think yeah rivet and her robot kit yeah kit so Rivet and Kit are the new introductions in the Ratchet and Clank universe, and I think they're very good ones. From what I've seen and, you know, read, everyone seemed to like their placement in the universe, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to see how the story plays out. The game Ripped Apart is a sequel to Into the Nexus, which is okay, it's pretty mid on the tier of Ratchet and Clank games, you know. It's, it's about the C or B tier, it's not very, very A or S. But it was good. So this is a sequel to that. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of stoked to play it as a PC player. And I know a lot of PC players are going to jump into Ratchet and & Clank. And it's going to be a lot of the first Ratchet & Clank games some of these guys on the PC play. Guys and gals. So yeah, it's a whole new audience. Sony is reaching for this game. And I'm pretty excited. Excited to see how the port is. Ugh, the port. <laughs> Horizon had a rough port horizon the original one forbidden west isn't on pc yet but yeah the one port was rough god of war was okay last of us we're not going to talk about that's a disgrace sony should feel ashamed go back to the rock hide there for a while think about what you've done sony that last of us was a nightmare last of us port on pc was a nightmare bad sony okay anyways 
as long as Ratchet and Clank port plays out okay, I think the new audiences to the game and old are going to have a fun ass time with this. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. I love Ratchet and Clank. It's been so long since I played one though. I think I played Into the Nexus when that came out, and it's been a long time. Hold on, let me let me let me check. Real quick. 2013. It's been 10 years as we're recording this. That <laughs> Into the Nexus came out. So yeah, we Ratchet and Clank fans have been hungry, especially if we didn't get a PS5. We've been really hungry. Yeah, I'm excited for it. So if you're on PC and you haven't checked out Ratchet and Clank, take it from me. Go try that when that comes out.